What's up, my people? Welcome back and happy for you to enjoy us. We're back to join the day with you guys. Across of us is the symphony space. It's another theater where they show different shows or movies. And it's cool. What's she talking about? The Geoffrey Ballet School performed this sometimes. Yes. It's like a mess, but it's okay. It's a little bit uh, windy and rainy day, but it's nice actually, I like it. So what are we doing today? We're dancing, or us. Okay, let's That's go. That's all we do. Okay, change of look. I have my hair down, Ibrahim put on his hat. So that's the symphony space behind us. So crazy here. There's people getting food from the trash, reading newspapers from the trash. It's a hard city to live in. People might not think, but it's a lot of homeless people in New York. Things are not that great like people think that is. You see that guy in the back of us? It's kind of picking food from the garbage. And it's pretty sad though. New York City is super powerful, but it's a lot of poor people here. Yeah, in the movies and everything, you tend to see the pretty parts of New York. But there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes, behind the cameras in the neighborhoods are sketching and everything so be careful dancers look guys there's the christmas trees i can't wait to decorate the christmas tree oh yeah we're decorating to christmas tree this year yes we are because we're going to cyprus so i want to decorate the christmas tree there too they will decorate too Yay! <laughs> are you enjoying the trees baby yes which one you want i want this one Gluten-free trees. Yes. What do you have to say about that? No comments. <laughs> Coffee, right? What are, you, what are we doing? I'm dancing with the pigs. What are we doing? Oh, getting coffee. Getting coffee. We bought the tree. Isn't it so pretty? No, guys, just kidding. That thing doesn't even fit in the apartment. So we went to class. We'll see you later. And then rehearsal. Look. Some days are hard, guys. <laughs> My keep toe moving. with the whole little bone there is so annoying. I'm gonna train so hard to get over past that. So the whole ballet and the whole thing is just taking that on me. But I gotta keep going. It's not gonna discourage me. It's a big plan. Sorry about my hair, but I'm preparing for a new ballet that requires a little bit of craziness. So yes, we have a, a ballet today that has to do with something current that happened recently. So by the time you see to move this, it's gonna be tomorrow. So this is the vlog of tomorrow, technically for you today. Anyway, what I just wanna talk about is like, enjoy the ballets that we're doing, because we're putting a lot of work into it. We're really passionate about it. Of work and a lot of thinking into each ballet. We have been losing a couple of subscribers here and there, but you know what? If they don't like what we do, they can leave. We don't want them. We want cool people that is acceptable, understandable, that wanna learn from us. 
and also that you know want to be part of the community that we're building. We love Swan Lake, Don Quixote, and all these beautiful classics, and we want to do some of them eventually. Mm -hmm. But we want to create our own thing and our own little impact. So yeah. people so that don't that like the stuff that we do, I mean, it's okay. You know, it's a free country. You can just unsubscribe and move on. We just want to bring Bali to the 21st century and do cool things and so, things that everybody know, can enjoy. But the Bali for today will be... So anyway, lately has been trending sexual harassment in the arts, you know, Hollywood and uh, the news. A big anchor in New York City lost his job because of allegations. And also a very famous ballet director and former principal dancer from New York City Ballet, Mr. Peter Martins. He, he got accusations for uh, sexual harassment in the company in the school. So and it happened a lot of times, not just the company probably, in other everywhere. companies too, but it's not so... so people yes. don't talk about it. Dancers would not really come out and say that this happened because they're, unfortunately they want to keep their position in the company. And second of all, unfortunately, they know that if they agree and they go with their waters and uh, do whatever they say and let them touch them or whatever, they know they might get some roles and hopefully promote anyway, better roles. Anyway, this is going to be very long. We're not going to talk too much about this, but this happens all the time. Men, female, all the time. Schools, companies. And a lot of the dancers, you afraid know, some of them, up. they're afraid to speak up, but a lot of them actually wants to get there, regardless where are the choices. That's why sometimes I feel like they keep it to themselves because they like that nice status exactly, of a principal saying. dancer or of like fancy, you know, titles. fancy titles and good performance and all of that, you know. So if that happens to people like that and keep it to themselves, shame on them. It's their business. They are choosing to be part of that. But I give up to a lot of, of the people that are standing up to this because this is horrible, especially in the arts. Nobody has the right to touch you in any way. Um, and if that's not for you in that place, workplace, you gotta move on. Life, move on. Don't let somebody take advantage of you. And take advantage yeah. of you for, for the promise of something that is just like a role or a dancing thing. So it's horrible. So guys, I hope this you is enjoy the end of the vlog. I hope you go enjoy those amazing 365 ballet. Look at us. We're tired, but we're gonna work in the ballet right now. So my people, uh. have a beautiful. Night. Night. Or, or day. morning if you're watching in the morning. Anyway. We're confused guys, it's okay. <laughs> Let's go. Palais Popular. Time to rehearse my yoga. <laughs>